Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, February 25th, 2014. This is Talk To Me Tuesday, number 125. A couple things to show, so I'm going to get started. Uh, first off, update on my socks. I got 10 rounds done. I'm not going to take the time to pull it out of the bag and show you because it's not really that much progress. <laughs> I've been spending quite a bit of time putting in applications. I've done over 40 applications in the last two weeks. I haven't gotten anywhere yet. Nothing new, but uh, hopefully something will come of it. But it really only leaves me evenings and weekends to do anything crafty. And anyone who's a crafter knows that's not a whole lot of time. So what I am going to show you is something that I have started working on. First off, I'm uh, going to show you this book. I showed this a while back when I first got it. It's 365 Foundation Quilt Blocks. Same principle as paper piecing. You start out with your pattern on paper, and you work on the paper, and you peel it away when you're done. Next thing I'm going to show you is this awesome box of fabric that I had received when I first started paper piecing from our very own Oaf and Jen. And I am pairing this up with this wonderful book, and I have chosen some log cabin -y style blocks to do. They're four inch blocks and I call them log cabin -y because they all start from the center and work their way out in a log cabin fashion by the way they're put together. So I've made a list <laughs> and I have started. I've made two squares so far and I've got the third one ready to go. But I've made a list of all these and what I want to do is specifically use the fabric in this box. Not touch any other fabric I have unless it's in my own scrap box that we've has been cut off as we've done paper piecing. But I want to use nothing but scrap fabrics to make these blocks. What I'm going to do with them when I'm done, I'm not really sure. It depends on how many I do and how big it is when I'm done with it. But I have done two so far. The first one is the Log Cabin Twist, and that's this one. I am not being specific about colors. This one I went through and I said, oh, I like this, 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 and this together. So that's what I chose. I'm not keeping a color theme of any sort. And then the next one I did is called the Tipsy Log Cabin. And there again, just chose a bunch of fabrics and put it together. So... And the only thing that's been consistent is I've got green in the each of the centers, but I think I'm going to change that as time goes on. I don't think I have enough green in this box to keep that up. So the next one I'm going to be doing is called Diamond Shades, and that's this one. And there again, I'll probably put a green center in and work out from there. But yeah, it's just, you know, going to be scrappy and what it turns out to be in the end. I don't know, but you'll see those over time. The only other thing I'm going to show is I spent the better part of the weekend working on this. I had mentioned last week when I showed the messenger bag that I wanted to make one for myself. Well, we were looking on Fandom and Stitches and so hooked at all the wonderful paper piecing blocks that you can do. And I saw one that I really liked, and it's a block called Serenity. Uh, it has Chinese characters on it. I'm going to assume that that's what the characters stand for. It is not a block that has been designed by our very own Oaf and Jen, but it is a really nice block, and I liked it, and I said, what the heck? Well, this block has 19 separate pieces just to put the block together. <laughs> so that was a job and a half, um, but it was it, it worked. Using the tips from the workshop helped a lot too because there were some kind of little odd angles that if I didn't use the pin it and check it tip that often Jen does in her workshop, I probably would have been doing a lot more ripping back and starting over. So, And then once the block was done, I looked at it and I was like, that would be a cool flap for a messenger bag. So my daughter actually chose the border fabric around the block and then I had a bunch of muslin that I had purchased way back when one of our stores was going out of business well not going out of business but selling out all their craft stuff and for a dollar a yard for muslin that was a really good price so I bought what was left on the bolt that they had 
and I decided that since muslin's a nice sturdy fabric I would use that and then I had this really funky fabric that I purchased at our local uh, thrift store when it was open and decided to use that for the lining so the only thing that this bag has that is a pattern or has been measured is the flap and the handles everything else has been just a, a hope and a prayer so there's my bag now hopefully you can see it um, I really like it it came out really well I was surprised like I said the only pattern actual pattern is the block itself and then the only thing I measured was the straps and that was just because I had to cut two pieces from the width of the fabric to make sure that the strap would be long enough so there's that it's all done um, it is completely lined with this really neat funky fabric and it's very sturdy and everything came out just right I was really really shocked because I didn't think it was going to <laughs> Uh, like I said, no measurements, just, you know, lay a piece down, okay, that looks about right, you know, room for the handles, room for the hem, this and that, but it came out really well. So there is my new messenger bag. I have already been using it, and I think it worked out really well, and the fabric my daughter chose for the edge is, like, perfect, so. Uh, other than that, I don't really have anything else. We're coming up on block three for the PPV bomb or the paper piecing vintage block of the month. So that'll probably be something that you may see next week if I get it done this weekend. Other than that, I can't think of anything. You can still join the PPV bomb and you can also go check out Fandom and Stitches and Sew Hooked for some absolutely fantastic paper piecing blocks if you've never tried it before I will encourage you to watch the paper piecing workshop that Elf and Jen did links to all that in the description below other than that I can't think of anything else so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a quits here uh, look forward to watching everyone's videos I hope you all have a wonderfully crafty week and a wonderfully crafty weekend as for me I'm out as for you it's good morning good afternoon good evening good day whatever it is I really do hope it's a great one and I'll see you all next week bye